Yo, dead ass B. Yo, dead ass B. Yerp. <laughs> Yo, dead ass. Y'all niggas gotta be real with a nigga. Who be keeping their bed clean? Who be keeping their bed clean, nigga? I sleep in this shit, but I don't give a fuck. Guess what? This is King Kong. Yes, it's King Kong. Yes, it's King Kong. <laughs> These are not staying in. I had to hit the Bantu knots for the culture. What's good, y'all? It's your boy. Mr. 2K guy, we back up in this bitch. But, you know, I mean, in, in the streets, they call, <laughs> in the house, they call they call me Miles. But in the streets, they call me, I'm gonna keep fucking myself, and, I'm, and we gonna keep on working hard. Niggas out here, licking wood, eating bath salts, <laughs> drinking shit out the carton. Nigga, around these parts, we drink out wine bottles. But today, we, 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 we checking out Lil Lotus. Now, while I was searching up the songs to do of Lil Lotus, motherfucker, I done, I done seen this nigga fucking with Nothing Nowhere, Shinigami, that one dude that was featured on that, um, on that, uh, Shinigami track of the 93, uh, dude. So... Lil Lotus look like something. He look like what? Lil Lotus, born born 1994, is an is an American rapper and producer and songwriter from Dallas, Texas. All right, so Lil Lotus one of them diverse motherfuckers. Cause a lot of niggas out here, some niggas some niggas got ghostwriters out here, like niggas up in the OVO sweatshop. <laughs> <laughs> Them niggas over there sucking all kinds of something, dude. They need, they not even sucking dick. They suck, they sucking Q-tips. After having played in some Christian metalcore, what the fuck is that? He started his emo rap career as Tremor, what? Around 2016 before changing his name to Lil Lotus. Oh my, what? Call a nigga Chang Lee from now on to fuck out of here with that. Lil Lotus Body Bag featuring Cold Heart Yo, what the fuck does Lil Lotus look like? Who are you? He look he looked like my friend across the street. <laughs> I ain't gonna I ain't gonna put a picture up on the screen because you know Nah Jesus. 
thoughts of a thought Told me I was better in a body bag Gave me all your heart and now you need it back Dog, he gave a he gave a shout out to fucking uh, deep. He he gave a shout out to Goth Boy Click. Oh, that was Cold Heart. Cold Heart gave a shout out to 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 the Goth Boy Click. All right, first song. I feel like I need some adjustments because that's the first time I'm ever hearing of them. Cold Heart, uh, man, give me on the hook. Pull pull up to your house. Now I'm tongue tied. He got nervous. He got to the house. He was like, you know what, nigga? I'm trying, yeah. And then she was like, you don't said that you don't love me. Now what's up with that? She being fake. She being fake up in this motherfucker. She be like, nah, I don't love you, nigga. I was just playing with you. And he was like, you wasn't saying that when you was eating my ass, though. Hey, listen, man, listen. If any of y'all niggas is up on this motherfucker and your girl playing with your booty hole, go <laughs> I mean, if you interested in that shit, uh, uh, okay, cool, but if that's the case, then you might as well just tell your girl, hey, babe, go get a strap on and fuck me with that instead of putting my, instead of putting your finger up my ass, and then, and then, and then he's all like, told me I was better, dang, that motherfucker told this nigga that she, he need to die, yo, that's fucked up. That's fucked up. Uh, Lil Lotus at the top of your lungs. This is produced by Ned Arp too. Man, what's really going on here? I fuck with Astar so fucking much. It's like, I don't know, you're just an inspiration in the underground scene. Like, if you don't fuck with Astar, then you gotta fuck off. Listen, I know what the wait. Shout out to fucking Nedar! It's I just hope you understand All the pain in my back and blisters on my hands It's all you Now you're screaming at the top of your lungs I don't need, I don't need you What is up with all of these like? Now you're screaming at the top of your lungs What is... Dog. Okay, what in the hell is what the fuck is going on with this era? This era is going towards a whole different style of like not style, I don't know why I'm saying style. The holy fucking what? Listen, dude. Those past two songs, they gave me like a like not, I'm not gonna say Juice World, but it had the type, the same type of style of Juice World. It had the emotional, don't like, uh, don't hit my phone. I don't need you. Uh, you fake as fuck. You told me, you told me at one point that you love me, and all of a sudden now you don't love me. You're probably fucking some other motherfucker, but I know I'm motherfucking better. Shinigami was on that shit too. He was on that lonely type shit, and it's like holy shit. Like it's just wild and crazy. Like dude. Damn, the male race is fucked, dude. 
Not the male race as fuck, but damn, we lonely as fuck. I mean, but I, I know some women out there lonely too. Hey. Never mind. I mean, hey, if you need a friend, your boy Mr. 2K got here for you. Don't matter what kind, don't matter what gender you are. Transgender, female, male. But yeah, if y'all ever need someone to talk to, hey, hit me on Snapchat. I always have my Snapchat at the beginning. Don't ever be afraid to message me on Snapchat, dude. I respond to everyone. Eat, I talk to you. If I relate to it, I'll tell you my situation. Lil Lotus, your dad has a gun. Featuring Shinigami. This is why. This is why, um, what? This is why I love the underground, dude. Like, these niggas always spark conversation. Mainstream niggas never start conversation. Other than Childish Gambino, Kendrick, and uh, J. Cole. Everyone else be talking about how they got their dick sucked from the back, how they lick floors, and how they lick feet and shit. And how they step on fucking Legos and lick TV screens. And flaunt their money. Little pumpkin calling you out. You fuck. Need an anime movie to watch? Watch your name. It's a good. It's a good movie. I'm feeling like this is a song dedicated to someone, dude. Genius to see what the hell like I, I'm looking at the, I be look, I be looking at the lyrics and shit now and I see the fucking cover art has a fucking shit asking your your dad has a gun right bruh I think this song is dedicated to someone about their dad having a fucking gun as a <clears throat> this is why I love the motherfucking underground dude it's like I said these dudes. Always start conversation. Niggas in the mainstream. I mean, it depends on who the fuck we're talking about, though. Kendrick starts conversation. Childish Gambino starts conversation. I guess I could throw a little Uzi in there because I mean, when you look, I mean, EXO Tour Life had a hell of a meaning, dude. Uh, J Cole. We could throw Drake in there. These guys have some meaningful songs, and and then, and then we got the crowd that raps about basic shit. They 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 just throw out recycled shit. Pump, Lil Pump really don't be rapping about shit. Look at the fucking double XL shit. The nigga freestyled ass. Get it? He didn't even have a. I understand freestyles aren't really freestyles. Some of these niggas do freestyle. I understand that, but it's like, come on, dude. At least try and make, at least try and put in an effort to make a fucking freestyle instead of wrapping it off of your fucking recent fucking single that did numbers. What the fuck? Uh, Lil Lotus, Run Home, produced by Nothing Nowhere. I want to see me uh, watch the Bexy and Suicide Boys video. Let me know. I'll damn sure do it. Just let me know, and I'll be on it. This lemon shit sucks, dude. Oh my god. Fuck, but I gotta do I, I gotta do what I gotta do. Oh my god. Fuck! I got a piece of lemon in my motherfucking mouth. That shit.
like there's more singing than rapping, more than anything. Honestly. Like the, the types of vibes that I'm getting from this, I'm getting like rock vibes. Cause to me, cause to me, Lil Lotus has a voice of a rock star. This is the type of music when you are in a certain mood. Like in your, if you're in like a sad mood. And you need to hear someone else talk about the same thing. You go to the little Lo Lo Lotuses. You go to the Shinigamis. Uh, you go to the Juice World. You go to the little Peeps. Those guys are the people that you go to when you are kind of going through something. <sighs> you know it. You know X made music for people so they could relate to it, man. And it's like a lot of these mainstream niggas. They don't make they don't make music. I mean, some of them do, but most of them don't make music for people to relate to. These niggas so fucking worried about fucking bitches and getting money, they're missing the whole entire fucking picture. So, this be a boy, Mr. Tuka guy. Add me on Snapchat. Follow me on Twitter. Fuck it, man. And I'm out this bitch.